Today we will break down Figma component properties as quickly and as thoroughly as humanly possible so that you don't have to spend any more time on YouTube trying to get this concept. Let's get into it. So when it comes to components, you have four different properties. The first being variants, then you have instances, you have text, and you have boolean. I'll go through these one by one real quick, then we'll create some buttons together. So bear with me. Variants is exactly what it sounds like. It's a variant of something. In this case, we have variants of a button. So we have button large, we have button medium, and we have button small. If I drag this out, you can see that in the sidebar, we can change between these. Large, small, medium. Different variants of a button. Second, we have instances. Instances are instances of something. Who would have guessed? So in this case, we have an icon and this icon has instances. So if we duplicate this, you can see in the sidebar here, once again, we have the ability to click this drop down that says check and change it to Chevron right or to X or cross. So that's instances for icons. Then we have text. We duplicate this. In the sidebar now, we have the ability to change the text from here. So I can say changed text. And that's what it does. You can change text from the sidebar instead of having to go into the actual text and do it from there. The last one being Boolean. Here, if we duplicate it once again, you can see in the right sidebar here that we have has icon and we have has text. And these are just toggles. I can toggle icons. I can toggle text on and off. Now with that small little context, let's create some buttons. So what I'll do at first is I'll write a text saying button large, like that. I'll wrap it in an auto layout. And if you want to learn more about auto layouts, video somewhere here. Fill. Add a fill to it, I'll add some rounding, I'll change the color of the fill, change the text color. Now we have something like this. So I'll create a component out of this. In the top you'll find create component, so I'll click that. Now this is a button component. I'll rename it to button and once that's done, I'll go down here because now I want to add an icon to it. So I'll go into my design system, I'll copy an icon and I'll paste it in our button. Now from here, we'll go down one step further. And now we want to add some size variants because we have the button large, but I want a button medium and a button small as well. So this is where variants come into play. So once again, in the top, if we look here, we have add variant. I'll click that, I'll go back and I'll click it again so that we have three different variants call this button medium, this button small. Now, the first thing I want to do here is go and look in the sidebar and look at this properties section. You can see that it's called property one and then we have default and variant two. If we go into this, edit it, we can see that the name and the values, they don't really make sense right now. For me, this should probably be called size because it's going to be button large to button small. So I'll click enter and then go back to it. Then we'll change from default to button large, button medium for the second one and button small for the last one. So now if we drag out one of these, we can see in the sidebar that we have our different values here. Button medium, button small, button large. All right, so we added some size variants. I'll drag it down here where we're gonna apply some instances. But before we do that, maybe we wanna change the sizing a bit. Now we wanna apply some instances here. And when we do that, we have to click into the icon again. So it's icon instances in this case. So I wanna change this icon instance. If you look in the right sidebar here, we can see that we have check. And to the right of check, we have apply instance swap property. If we click that, we get the opportunity to add an instance here. So I will call this instance icon, and then I can set the icon I want to be the default icon. 
I want it to be check in this case. So I'll create that property. Now I need to do this for all of our different variants because otherwise it will just be applied to the button large. So if we would drag this out, you can see we have the icon here. So we can change it. Nice, works, super. But then if we go to button small, for example, we don't have that capability anymore. So we need to add that to all our variants. And now we have the icon here because we already created it. So we don't have to create it again. Icon, icon. Now, if we drag it out, we can see that regardless of which variant we're on, it has the same icon instance property here. Sorry, before we continue, do you have any suggestions on what type of content you want to see? What kinds of tutorials or whatever it is, comment in the comment section below so that I can create the content you want to see. Cool. Let's go down to apply text. All right. So this works very similarly. If we click the text in our button, we can see down here by content that we have that same button, but this time it says apply text property. So if I click that, we get a name that says text. I think that makes sense, but the default value here maybe should just be button. So I create this property. Once again, I want it to be applied to all of these. So for the button medium, for the button small as well. If I drag this out, we can see that we got this added property here. So if we go into this input field and we say changed text, the text changes. And we can swap it to button medium and we can swap it to Chevron right. It all works together perfectly. Cool. So the last thing, applying Boolean. All right, Boolean, that's such a strange word I always thought. Anyways, Boolean works in the same way. If we go to the text, we can see that the layer section here has this same button that says apply Boolean property. The reason it's here is because this is the show and hide place. So what does the Boolean do? It lets you show and hide stuff. So if I click here, I'll call this has text. And the default value is going to be true because we want to show the text as a default. So I create that. Once again, we get this purple thing showing us that we have added this Boolean property. And that's the same for everything, by the way, for icon here, for the has text, for the content text down here. That's the way you see it in the sidebar. I'll add that to all of our button sizes, all of our button variants. Now, if I drag this out, you can see that we can toggle the text on and off like this. This can also be applied to the icon. So I just do the same thing, but I don't use the has text because we want to be able to toggle these on and off separately. So I create a new property. I say has icon, and maybe we don't want to show the icon as a default. So I'll set it to false as a default value. Create property, I'll add it to all of our buttons. that. Now, if I drag this button up here, we have four different properties we can use. I can toggle the icon. I can change the text, change text. I can change the icon. I can remove the text. I can change it to bottom small, all within this same area. Now that you have the tools to handle component properties like a pro, would you consider giving me a subscribe or like or hitting the bell notification or maybe adding a comment, it would really help. But if you don't want to, I totally get it. We'll talk in the next one. Have a good day, great evening, awesome morning, whatever it is at your place, and we'll talk soon. Ciao.